Moving tonight, executives with United Airlines say they plan to offer coronavirus tests for passengers. The testing program is set to start next month for people traveling from San Francisco International Airport to Hawaii. And here's how it works. According to United, passengers will take the test at the airport, get their results within 15 minutes. Passengers can also buy a mail-in test kit that they can then send out in advance of their trip. United staffers say they're working with state leaders in Hawaii to make sure that people who do pass the test will not be subject to the quarantine that is underway in that state. And they also say the program could expand, but at this point, it's not clear if and when that will happen. Tonight, Todd Latz, the CEO of Access Clinical Partners, is joining us live via Zoom to talk more about this new test and initiative. Uh, we appreciate your time tonight. Thank you. Thanks for having me, Martin. Uh, so why this route for these rapid tests, San Francisco to Hawaii? I, I think it's because of our footprint, first off, on the West Coast. So we are the largest on-demand care provider in the Bay Area and have been supporting employers from the beginning of the pandemic. And in so doing, we started speaking with the officials at SFO and were introduced to the United Airlines team. And uh, they had obviously a need to test and ensure the safety of their flight crews. And so that's how the relationship began. And then they identified that route from SFO to Hawaii. And is it correct this is the test that comes from Abbott Labs based here in Chicago? That's exactly right. We've been utilizing the Abbott Lab, uh, the ID Now test uh, from the very beginning of the pandemic. Okay. And to your knowledge, how accurate is the test? Abbott produces uh, or has distributed results that would demonstrate that it's in the mid to upper 90s in terms of sensitivity and specificity. And certainly our uh, examples and what we've seen in our experience has been at least that good, if not better. Okay. Uh, Abbott says the test costs $5. How much will it cost for passengers? Uh, that's actually a different test that, uh, that costs $5 from Abbott. That's an antigen test. What we'll be utilizing at SFO with United Airlines is actually their ID Now platform, which is a molecular rapid test. Okay. How much will it cost for passengers? The cost for passengers, Marnie, will be $250, and that will include both the test and a clinical evaluation as part of the test. Uh, that's expensive on top of a flight. It, it is, but given the uh, clinical evaluation component and the, the test itself, the cost to administer it, that's really the going rate for it these days. Okay. Uh, describe the process for passengers when they get to the airport. Uh, when will the test be administered? Great. So the passengers will actually be able to sign up for the test before they arrive. So they'll be able to register for it online and have an exact time. So they'll have a scheduled time to show up. Usually that's going to be between about three hours and slightly under two hours before the flight. So they will come into the international terminal. That's where our testing site is. They'll be tested. So the clinical evaluation and the test itself takes about 20 minutes. So they'll be able to get the results within 20 minutes and have plenty of time then to go through security and get to their gate and board the flight. Okay, Todd, real quickly, my final question. If you test positive, then what? If you test positive, then you won't be going through security and getting on the flight. Obviously, you should be isolating and self-quarantining at that point. You would only go through and continue on with the flight if it's negative. All right, Todd Latz with Access Clinical Partners. Uh, this may be the new way of travel, at least for the time being. We appreciate your time tonight. Thank you. Thanks so much for having me.